How do you like your eggs in the morning? I like mine with a kick. Hello, have you missed me? Hey, I've missed you. Happy New Year. At what point do you stop saying Happy New Year? Middle of January, Happy New Year. February, Happy New Year. At the moment, everyone keeps saying Happy New Year. The thing is, they keep saying though, is they go, Happy New Year, have you, have you had a good Christmas and New Year? And then you go, yeah, yeah. But everybody says, Glad it's over though, glad it's over. Whew, you know, back to normal, back to normal. That's the stock answer, isn't it? Uh, and I am actually, I'm glad it's back to normal. It's January, uh, I'm off uh, for a, uh, well, it's a bit of a sexist breakfast this morning because I looked up uh, full English breakfast, my first full English breakfast of 2023. Can't wait, has to be done, doesn't it? And I've got lots in store for you as well uh, in 2023. I'm looking forward to it. I'll tell you a little bit more in the car. We're off to Baz the Barbers uh, for a little bit of a trim. And you're gonna say, a little bit of a trim? It's January, it's freezing. Well, God, I told you, we're off to a flying start, literally, in 2023. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'll tell you a little bit more in the car, by the way, uh, because uh, I've gotta get there. I'm a little little bit late as per uh, so if you're new to the channel by the way do hit the subscribe button click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos this feels good now without further ado my friends I'm back let's go Tell you what, it is good to be back. I have had, um, I have had a break, as you know, um, and it's recharged my batteries. It does work. My mate, hashtag JB Dave, he said, "You need a break, mate. You need a break." And and and, I've, and I'm glad I've had one. It's been uh, it's been really good. Um, had a nice little rest uh, up in Leeds with Sarah and the kids. Uh, not done a lot really. Did we do anything? I think we just relaxed really and. Uh, just chilled a bit. Went to went to a pantomime uh, over Christmas. Went to watch uh, Dick Whittington, the, the like the rock musical kind of thing. And I've got to tell you, I haven't been to a pantomime for ages, and it literally is. I thought, off oh, the stuff. How do they get away with it? It's like a it's like a Carry On movie. Some of the stuff that they was coming out with, especially as it was called Dick Whittington. They did play on that a little bit. Obviously, it goes over the kids' heads, but I thought, my word, it lived, oh, I thought, ooh, Matron, it is, it was, a lot of innuendos, let's put it that way. Uh, I looked at Sarah, I was like, what's all that? She was like, oh, they won't understand, it's fine. I thought, huh, if I said that kind of thing on my channel, they'd be all on the keyboards. Um, it's not a carry-on movie, it was literally like that. I've never heard so many innuendos. Anyway, um, that's not why we're here today. We're off for a, um, it's called a, a Hungry Man Breakfast. I saw it online and I thought, Hungry Man Breakfast? That's, surely you can't call it that now. A Hungry Man Breakfast? That's sexist. It should be a Hungry Person Breakfast. Um, Leah Schutzlever would eat all that. I'm sure she would actually. She is excellent. Excellent channel that is. Um, her and Beard Meets Food. Anyway, so we're off for this Hungry Man breakfast today. We're off to Baz the Barbers first. Uh, and then, uh, at the end of the week, the reason I'm off to Baz the Barbers is because I'm having a trim, because we're off to Benidorm. And uh, I've never been to Benidorm before. Uh, I haven't, I, I've heard all about it. I've heard, I've seen there's a TV series. And I have to say, I haven't seen the TV series. I've seen clips of it uh, with Johnny Vegas and stuff. And, um, it's kind of, it's got a bit of a reputation, I will admit. I have heard about the reputation. And I've asked you guys as well in the comment section down below, places that I should go uh, while I'm in Benidorm. It's kind of out of season, so there'll be a lot of bingo playing, I, I guess. Uh, and um, places to go, uh, Tapas Alley is one of them. Yes, I am gonna have tapas, um, because I've done a little research and I have to say, I have to say, Phil and Janice, who like tapas and like to eat local when they go to, to these different places. It looks bloody good. It I thought, well, my word, now that is tapas. Um, so we're gonna try tapas alley, we're gonna try uh, some fish and chips. If you've got any, if you haven't, if you haven't made a, excuse me, we've got a bit of a, 
got a bit bunged up this morning and just woke up. Um, if you've got any um, suggestions of where to go uh, when I'm in Beddydorm, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, fish and chip shops, uh, because we've got to do that, haven't we? Full English breakfast, because it basically is Little Britain. There's a Little Britain strip, isn't there, that we're going to go to. Uh, I'm going to try and look around all the places that they filmed uh, on the TV series Benidorm as well. Uh, so, uh, but any any suggestions if you've been, pop them in the comment section down below. Um, anyway, I'll come back to you in a minute. I need a coffee. Come on, onwards. what I've read a few comments about uh, Benny Dorm and I have to say aren't there some there's some snobs about really aren't there hey I mean let's be honest and they're like oh Benny Dorm who best thing about that is the road out can't stand Benny Dorm it's right chavy and blah 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 do you know what I, I've had a look online and it looks a good laugh you've just got to take it for what it is and uh, everybody that I've seen there is having a good time and smiling and laughing, so I don't see anything wrong with that. And then another one, it was like, oh, they're all riding around on mobility scooters there. It's a good way to get around. I mean, I do it every day. It's just got a Porsche badge on mine, four wheels and a battery. You know, it's, it's it, the idea is the same, isn't it? And it's a great way to get around, so I don't see the problem, so long as you drive safely. Um, and uh, it looks great, you've got bars, you've got restaurants, you've got Old Town Benidorm as well, uh, which I've done a bit of research on. Um, I've, um, I've asked you guys as well and I've had, some, I've had some great suggestions of where to go to. I've asked uh, uh, a, a, a colleague of mine, I say colleague, I've never met him, I was going to say mate, but I've never met him, but I will do. Scotsman in Tenerife, Kevin, and he's given me a few ideas because he's been uh, to Benidorm as well. So. Um, He's given me a few ideas. Frank Housley as well, who's uh, a viewer, he's given me a few ideas as well. So um, I've got a few ideas in the bag there. If you've got any as well, let me know. I'll try, I might even try and rent a car as well and, and go and have a, you know, a, a, dr a drive around and see whether there's anything nearby. It depends ha how much time I have. I've got seven nights there uh, of filming. So I'm gonna bring you loads and loads of content. It's gonna be some real good fun. Uh, so I am looking forward to it. So uh, anyway, as I say, today we're off to Nottingham. Uh, we're off to a place called the Lanes Restaurant, I believe, where it's got a uh, hungry man breakfast. It's supposed to be really good. It gets lots of great write-ups on TripAdvisor. And I thought, you know what? Let's go for the first full English of 2023. But I tell you what, oh, I'm glad it's over. I'm glad it's back to normal, aren't you? I mean, January though, a lot of people are like, oh, January is, you know, a bit depressing. I don't think it is. Look at it on the flip side now. My mate Jeff Carter says every day now it gets lighter by so many seconds or minutes or whatever. And we're on the right side of it. Christmas, New Year, out the way. When do you stop saying Happy New Year though? I mean, when? I, people say it in the middle of January, don't they? When do you stop saying Happy New Year? Pop it in the comment section because I never know. I'm confused. Unlike Data Daz. Come on, onwards. Do you not find that people that don't like Benny Dorm or uh, Mallorca or uh, Tenerife, you can see them all in the comment section, you can see them all online on TripAdvisor and whatever, and it's the same kind of people that have a go at weather spoons, isn't it? You know, oh, spoons won't be seen dead in there, you know what I mean? It's like, it, <sighs> there's nothing wrong with spoons. Occasionally, it, it's hit and miss, I'll, be, I'll admit with weather spoons, it is hit and miss, but you know, a lot of people, you'll go there, you'll have a few drinks if you have a night out to start off with, um, and then you, you start at Weatherspoons, don't you, or whatever, and have a few drinks there. Then you go to a nice little trendy bar or whatever and have one drink. Uh, and uh, in fact, if you, my, <laughs> if she'll kill me for saying this, sorry, Sandra, if you're my sister, uh, then you're taking a little bottle of VOD that she does in her handbag or down there or whatever, you know, hides it. 
Uh, in fact, I think she hides it in a bra. Um, she does actually, she's going to slap me for saying this. She hides it in a bra and then she'll like go to the toilet, pop the vodka in the, in the Diet Coke. Naughty, naughty, I know, but these, you know, these trendy places, they charge a fortune, don't they? So she just pays for the soft drink, mind you. Saying that, she probably pays about £9.50 for a Diet Coke these days. Um, but you go there and then you go experience, but it's the same kind of people that don't like Benidorm. And I don't see the problem, you know, I spoke to a few people, I like these kind of places because it's down to earth and you'll get the other comments saying you might as well go to Blackpool, it's Blackpool in the sun. Well I like Blackpool as well, I don't mind Blackpool, I don't mind the British seasides and places like that. And if it's got sunshine, it's a bonus isn't it, you've got a lot more sunshine there. And also you've got, you know, the older places as well, you can go off, you can do your travels, you can get in your car, you can go and see a bit of Spain or whatever. And, have a bit of fun it's a different and you know and you get the plane ride as well which um well i say it used to be a bit of a pleasure it's a bit more of a, a bit more of a nightmare these days isn't it with all the security and stuff where you can't take your water in and liquids in that's supposed to change by the way so uh, do you know I'm, I'm just so excited i'm back i've really really missed you it's i've been looking and i've, I've, oh, I've been just, I've, Oh, I need to upload, I need to upload, I've got to see what people are commenting and saying hi and I, just, yeah, I think a break's good though, because I'm, I'm now, I'm recharged, I'm on fire, and when we're going places this year, I'm going to take you guys with us, we're going to get some great footage, we're going to get some great content, we're going to see different places, I mean, I can, I can hear you, it's you there, see different places, it's Benidorm, yeah, it's a bit of sunshine, I'm going to bring a bit of sunshine into your lives, and we're going to have a bit of fun and that's what this channel is about my friends and I'm looking forward to it. It's not all about the full English but I throw the food in just as a bit of fun. It's nice to see the food but it's all about the journey. That's what it's about. You'll get you'll get people go and yes you. I you there. They are timestamp 8 minutes 90 when he actually eats the breakfast. Listen, if that's you, what you want to do, that's fine. But it's all about the journey. It's not just about a full English breakfast, is it? Especially one that's called, what is it? Uh, I can't, what is it? Man, was it man? I can't even remember what it's called now. Do you know what? My mind's gone. What's it called? Man, it's man food, isn't it? Anyway, come, come on, onwards. And <laughs> don't keep saying onwards. That's my thing. I'm excited. I'm on it today. Hungry man, that's it. Hungry man. It's sexist, isn't it? No, it's not. I'm kidding, by the way. Hungry man breakfast. Hungry person. Hungry person breakfast. Hungry man. Hungry per It's a breakfast. It'll be a big breakfast, and I'm looking forward to it. The big question is, how much is it? How much? Got to be frugal these days. Got to be frugal. That's what we need. I'm going to try and get. I'm going to get get all the best places that have value for money. Not just cheap. You want value for money. I can tell you what though, I've got a funny feeling it will be a catering sausage. I never know what to say when I'm confronted with a catering sausage. They don't look good, do they? They're not the best looking things, a catering sausage. It looks looks a bit rude, doesn't it? If you know what I mean. Now let's make a promise to each other this year. I said last year, we've got this cost of living crisis, which is made worse by the media. I cannot abide the media. I used to work for the media. I worked for newspapers since I was the age of 17. And they make things a million times worse because they hype things up to sell newspapers, uh, to, to get views, uh, it's a little bit like YouTube, isn't it? Um, to get views uh, on TV, uh, in, in, and it literally is all about viewing figures on uh, the news channels, etc. And they hype it up. But then what's happened is it's made even worse then because the restaurants, who are the greedy restaurants and the greedy places, think, "Oh yeah, cost of living crisis. Um, I'm going to have to put my prices up." Admittedly. 
they have to put the prices up because things have gone up um, but not as much as it, the news are making out so what they do is they double and treble their prices so they're making more profit so the rich are getting richer yet again so that's where it's going wrong at the moment so don't fall for it because I'm trying to show you local places local businesses that are giving you value for money and are not ripping people off and ripping the public off trying to make massive massive huge profits uh, and that's not what it's all about and a lot of places are doing that at the moment a lot of places are charging a lot more and jumping on the bandwagon so don't fall for it don't let it happen let's make a stance and I tell you what if I go to these places and I see they're doing that I'm gonna shout them out and if there's great little family places that are giving us value for money I'm also going to shout them out and I'm going to push them because it's local businesses that need our backup and our support and yet again I will say I don't always go to local businesses people take it sometimes uh, a little bit too far and they go oh that's not a local business you went to Weatherspoons yes I did I've done a review in Weatherspoons I don't I don't do it all the time as I say but wherever I can support local businesses wherever you can support local businesses and that's what it's about and don't let people rip you off let's put a stop to this and stop watching the news don't listen to the news because it's all news years ago used to be it used to be a bit more light-hearted didn't it i mean admittedly there was some you know not nice stuff in it but it wasn't hyped up as it is these days it's just made it's just it's not real is it it's just it's rubbish it, it's and mum used to say it's rubbish rubbish she'd say rubbish have you watched the news rubbish that's what she'd say <laughs> anyway god I do miss her i've missed you i've missed you. i'm excited i'm all hyper i'm late i'm 10 minutes late for baz the barber go turn the milk floats off right okay come on Baz the barber Let's go. Right, we better go with them, we better keep going, because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to Benny Dorm. This is me, Benny Dorm. Benny Dorm. Benny Dorm. Have you been? No. You've not been? No, no, no. It's just a bit of a letdown, is it? Hey, uh, Benny Dorm. No, never been. I like been. watching Benny Dorm, that's good. It's a good yeah. programme. Is that, uh, who's in that? What's his uh, name? I can't remember his name. Johnny Vegas. Johnny Vegas, that's it. Apparently, they all go around in mobility scooters there. That's it. But it's you no want, different. You? Yeah, it's no different to my car, is it? No, no. Well, four wheels and a battery. It's just got a horse badge on it. Well, well. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys in a minute. I'm going to get my haircut. My Benny Dorm haircut. Benny Dorm. Benny Dorm. Yay! <laughs> Right, do you know what? I've just got you back here again because I've, I've been on about Benidorm and we were just saying that I said, oh, you know, there's people that don't like Benidorm, they don't, you know, they have a go at it and, and, and Baz got it right, you went, yeah, the people that don't like having fun. That, that's right, isn't it? They don't, like, they don't like having fun. But then you were on about the Benidorm TV show and there's two sides, there's two people in it. There's like, there's the, there's the real ones that like having the fun and stuff, yeah. and then there's the ones that embrace in the side. What's the characters in it then? Uh, Madge is good. Madge She's on the mobility scooter. Madge on the mobility scooter. Right, yeah. I haven't seen it, so. Fagging a mouth. I'm looking forward to this. Fagging a mouth, and then you've got the other ones with the 
the ones who've got on the sunbed all the time and stuff like that. So yeah, I can't, I can't wait for this. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'll see you. I'm just saying about it. I can't wait. See you in a minute. Right, back to Mac. There we go. My Benny Dorm uh, haircut. Hey, do you know what? I've got to that age now. I've got to that age where he started to shave my ears. It'll be my nose and my nostrils next. Because at a certain age, hairs just start sprouting out of your ears. And Baz has told me, he went, got to tell you, mate, he went, uh, it's been doing that for the last uh, two or three years. I've been cheekily just <laughs> trimming them off your ears. <laughs> so I'm like, no, I've got to that age where you just trim it. I'm going to be like, hey, you, get more, you lose the hair on your head <coughs> and it goes on your ears and comes out your nose, doesn't it? It loses direction. It loses, <laughs> it loses <Yeah>. direction. <laughs> now then, hungry man breakfast. Hungry man. Should it be a hungry person breakfast? Wow. That's the question. Hungry bird breakfast. You can't say bird anymore. No, you can't say bird. Nothing. Hungry person. He's off camera. He goes, oh, he's done nothing but talk. He went, don't put that on camera. Don't put that on camera. Don't, don't put that on camera. <laughs> he's waiting to rush me down. Like. He goes all shy. Anyway, tell him Happy New Year. Come on, Baz, tell him Happy New Year. There Happy New Year, everyone. Yeah, Bit of normality for everyone. Bit of normality. Nice to be back to normal. Anyway, I'll see you back in the car. Right, we're back. All sorted, got my Benny Dorm haircut sorted. I tell you what, Baz, by the way, he gets all shy on camera. Soon as the camera went down, he went, you want some cream on uh, Lee? I went, uh, yeah, go on. And he went, it's not whipped cream. And uh, I said, see, why don't you say stuff like that on camera? And he said, oh, you know, he said, I've got to look like I'm not enjoying it just in case the wife watches, the missus watches it. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> Mrs. Baz the barber. God, it's bright. Anyway, come on, let's get in there. Let's get this uh, hungry man breakfast. I can't wait. First full English breakfast of 2023. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, start the year off as I mean to go on. <laughs> Right, so let's park this milk float up and uh, get off to the Lanes Cafe. Hopefully it's open uh, and uh, we'll have this Hungry Man breakfast, which is a little bit sexist, isn't it? Anyway, I've had lots and lots of people, by the way, ask me where Jeff Carter is. And I've even had one say that has he passed away? Well, I can tell you now, uh, I've got somebody on the phone. It's the late Jeff Carter. How are you? It's only me. I'm alive. You're I'm alive. <laughs> How are you? Where have you I'm been? Not dead. <laughs> Where have you well, been? What was right. I still think I'm a young lad, and I was running, right? And my knee gave way, and I hit the ground running, and I broke me hip. Mm. So I ended up going through A and E, and next thing you know, X-ray. Before you know it, that was ten o'clock in the morning. Before you know it, they whipped me upstairs in the operating theatre and by four o'clock that day I'd had a brand new hip replacement Mom. so basically I've been laid up just recovering and now it's week eight and I'm walking now without walking sticks I'm walking to the end of the street and back but I'm limping like a, one of them old car park attendants you know hey come back you can't park your car here <laughs> anyway so I, I, thought, I thought to myself I'm never going to walk again and you have to learn. You have to learn everything again. You know, put one foot in front of the other slowly but surely without tripping over. Anyway, I'm doing it now. So I reckon I'll be back in action very, very soon. Well, um, keep an eye. I'm going to start videoing again. Yeah, I'm going to start videoing again, but just in the house for now. I'm going to do some cooking with Carter. And the special this weekend coming, I'll be posting on Saturday, is a cottage pie. Ooh, cottage now, pie. cottage pie is with beef. And shepherd's pie is with lamb. But I'm going to try and keep these meals cheap because of the price of living. So it's cooking with cars the time. And then when I can get up and about properly, because you walk past you, you've got bigger legs than me. I have. And um, so, so I'll be out and about with you, mate. I'll, I'll be meeting up and we'll be doing all kinds of filming. 
Well, so, uh, yes, I'm uh, not dead. I'm alive and I'm raring to go. I've just got to get my legs working again. Well, I'm off to Benidorm, so if you do get better, You're right? Joking. Yeah, well, do you know what? You could you could come with me next time and and you can have one of them mobility scooters like Madge off of Benidorm. And, and, and Oh, cheers. <laughs> you know what? We'll get a double one and we'll sit we'll sit you at the back. Hey, I'm up for that. I'm up for that. Sit me at the back. Hey. I'm with hey, me. I tell you what, they all use them in Benidorm, you know, for getting about. It's cheaper than taxis. Well, it's, I, I, I drive one every day. It's just got a Porsche badge on it, yeah, that's you all. Do. Yours is just a bigger one, isn't it? It's just a bigger one, that's it. So I'm off for a, a, a hungry man breakfast today, hopefully. So uh, I don't, Wow. I, I don't think you should be able to say that, though, should you, nowadays? A hungry man breakfast? Of course you can. You can say what you want. <laughs> you can say what you want. I'm fed up with all this woke snowflake things. Yeah, exactly. Get a life, you people. Yeah, it's a man it's a food. Hungryman. It's man food. That's man. It. Anyway, just before I uh, head over there, um, when do you stop saying Happy New Year? And have you had a good Christmas and New Year? And are you, uh, and are you going to say yeah. what everybody else says? Right. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, right, for, for 2023. I had a quiet one, obviously, sat in the house, but I had a turkey dinner, and then we had turkey butters. Then we had turkey curry. Then we had turkey and cornflakes. So, <laughs> yes, basically, it's a new year now. Last year was not kind. I was supposed to be going to Thailand. I lost all my money for flying to Thailand. I was supposed to be going there for 13 weeks. All that went by the board. So God had a different plan. Um, and it's calmed me down a bit, but I'm raring to go now. And I've not been going out and spending money. So I've got lots of travel money. So... Everybody who's listening to this, watch this space. There you go. Me and Lee will be going on one major adventure this year. There we go. Watch this space. Do you know what everybody says, though? When you go, uh, did you have a good one? They, they all go, oh, yeah, but I'm glad it's over. I'm glad it's back to normal now, you know. So uh, any, anyway, stay there, oh, Jeff. No, stay, I'm not like that. Stay there, Jeff. Stay there. I'll see you guys in a yeah. minute because we're, we're going to head off uh, over for this Hungry Man breakfast. So uh, I'm looking forward to this. My first full English of 2023, and I can't wait. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Whoosh. Right. Let's get for this. Hungry Man Breakfast. I'm hoping it's open, otherwise this is just another build-up and then it's closed. But it was good to hear from Jeff and uh, he's going to give me a few pointers as well on Benidorm. I'm really looking forward to it. It's about 18 degrees. It's not overly hot, but you know, shorts and t-shirt weather and you're not sweating. I think it's just right. Just the right kind of hot. Come on, onwards. So I'm trying to find it. These are the lanes. Come on, come with me. Let's have a look. So these are the lanes, but lots of different shops in here. Down on Snenton Market. Where are we? Go through here. Here we go. Lots of different places around here. Family owned businesses. Where are we? The lanes, what have we got here? I tell you what, it's all very trendy down here. I like it, I like this kind of area. Look at this. Graffiti art, textile guru, look. There you go. But where is it? What have we got here? Walk this way. Maybe it's down here then. Maybe that's a sign. Well, it is a sign, but is it a sign of where to go? Where are we? It's called the Avenues, but I know it's supposed to be down here. Where is it? This is all trendy. I mean, I like it. Look at it. I love it down here. I love Nottingham. I love this city. Bakery. Look at that. There we go. Oh, is it? Through here. 
There we go. Look at that. How cool is that? Right, I don't know where it is. The avenue. That is all. This is awesome. Look at that. But where is the avenues? Where is the avenues? I need this hungry man breakfast. I'm starving. I know it's down here somewhere. Avenue E. I mean, look at these places. They're all being renovated, look. This actually is the place where, you know my intro, the dun dun dun, that with all them pictures, is actually where I had them pictures taken in front of that graffiti. But, come on, where is it? I mean, look at this. Nice place to sit out here, look at this. How nice is that, but where, where is this restaurant? Where's this cafe? The avenues. Come on, we'll find it, we'll find it. Let's have a look around. I love a little bit of exploring, don't you? I love it. It's very trendy around here. Reminds me of my art college days. And look at this. I love it. It's great. Just if I can find. I'd love it more if I could find the place where they serve the food, though. Right, there's a lot of building work going on construction and that is good in the city if we can't find it we're gonna to have to find somewhere else where is it is it down here this is not looking good my friends not looking good the avenues you know it actually says that it's open on Google, but it doesn't appear to be. Maybe there's a reason for it. Do you know what, Google? Every time I go on and I find places, it says open. It never is. Never believe Google's timing and open times. Right, well, we'll find somewhere else. I've got to have a full English. It's got to be somewhere in the city. Right, let's have a little bit of a wander around. Blue sky, January, fresh new year. Let's be positive. There's a reason for everything. Come on, onwards. Look more like Bruce Forsyth, don't have the magic mic. Come on. <laughs> good game, good game. Life is the name of the game and I want to play the game with you. <laughs> I love January, start of the year, new year. time of year it's a lot better you've got rid of that all that hecticness with people running around in the city bumping into each other buying stuff that they don't really need and other people don't want you've got the few people now coming into town bringing back the stuff that people have bought them that they don't want and getting the money for it um, it's madness isn't it, it's crazy. Now then, I remember a cafe called Tucker's I think it was, uh, which is like a proper greasy spoon cafe uh, in Nottingham and that is what I want, that's what I'm looking for. None of this posh stuff. I want a greasy spoon, man breakfast, man food. <sighs> Taking down the wonder wheel. The only wonder that was is I wonder how, I wonder where they got the pricing from on it. But it was ridiculous, wasn't it, to go on that wheel? Absolutely ridiculous. Good riddance, goodbye, wonder wheel. Until next year. Oh God, 
Slim Chickens here. Did a review there with the Blonde Angel. Right, it should be up here somewhere. Tuckers. I even think that's closed. We're going to get a full English. It is, it's closed. What is going on? This is, this is not going well, is it? <laughs> Here we go, Tuckers. Obviously that wasn't meant to be either. Right, I'm determined to do this. Weatherspoons is open, however, I've said support local. So there is another one, I believe, down near the lace market somewhere. So we're going to go and have a look at that. I'm not giving in. I ain't giving in. But come on, why is everywhere closed? It's not even a bank holiday now. New Year, Christmas is over. Move on, open up, onwards. Blimey, the most difficult to find full English breakfast of 2023. Everywhere I've gone, they're all closed and it's not a bank holiday. Come on, I'm, sta I'm starving. I can already hear somebody say, no, you're not. No, you're not, I don't like that word. I don't like that word. Woke, I'll say what I want. <laughs> Within reason, of course. Anyway, come on. Onwards, I've got to find this full English. Full English! Right, I might be in luck. There's one here. I thought it was called Hungry Pumpkin, but I think that's down there. No, sorry, Cartwheel Cafe, but this is Hungry Pumpkin. So I'm hoping this is the one and that they do full English breakfast. It's a deli cafe, so it's not gonna be a greasy spoon, is it? But let's take a look. Right, family owned business, so I reckon we're gonna give this a go. If they've got the frying pan working, you can have a traditional breakfast here, bacon, sausage, egg, mushrooms, bean and toast. You can have a veggie breakfast if that takes your uh, fancy, or you can have a mega breakfast, here we go. Um, two bacon, two sausages, two eggs, two ash browns, mushrooms, beans, tomato, black pudding, and toast, and I'll have a coffee. That's 11.95. This is also a uh, family owned business as well, which is what we like and what we're trying to do at the moment. So uh, let's head on in and go and have this mega breakfast. Come on, onwards. Oh, right, so here we are, Hungry Pumpkin. The most difficult to find full English breakfast ever. Um, and uh, this gets a really good write-up actually. I have seen this one before. Uh, and as I say, it is a family business as well, which is what we're all about at the moment. Try and support local family businesses. And uh, boy, have I worked up an appetite. <laughs> it's so good to be back.
friends so I've got to say this looks uh, really good it is a mega breakfast we've got uh, the toast on here which I can pop on a separate plate actually because um, the plate is full of uh, food so it's not just used as a filler we've got uh, a full plate there we've got two eggs two sausages beans uh, we've got the bacon, we've got the hash browns, we've got the black pudding, we've got the tomatoes. Uh, not tin tomatoes, but they look like they're done perfectly. Uh, we've got the mushrooms there as well. Uh, he asked whether he wanted white or brown. We've also got the uh, HP sauce uh, and Heinz tomato ketchup. So before we go any further, take a closer look, my friends. Right, so I'm gonna go for HP. Um, ah, oh no, look! See? Who invents these packets? Do my nutting. There we go, we're gonna go for HP sauce. At least we know it's proper HP. Uh, so I'll pop that on there. Them packets just don't work, do they? But there we go. Right, so, knife and fork here. A little bit of pepper as well, I think, uh, on the eggs there as well. Slightly white over the top. We will go uh, in first for, that's going for the sausage, here we go, looks like a, it looks sort of a catering sausage but then not because it looks like it's got sage and stuff in it so let's try this. That's actually a nice sausage, mm. got a good taste to it. Right. Bacon, not too much fat on the bacon. I like it so far. We'll taste the bacon. Sometimes it can be overly salty, sometimes it's perfect. There we go. Mmm. That, very, very nice. Tomatoes, there we go. As I say, that actually, they're done cooked right the way through mm. I'm going for the hash brown probably the most controversial item on the full English because a lot of people say it's American but this is not an American hash brown you won't find a hash brown like that in America totally different hash browns there we go fluffy on the inner crispy on the outer pop a bit of brown on that mmm and I love them right Mushrooms, not got your pretentious big mushroom on there, proper mushrooms, and they're good, not too watery, nice. Go for the, for the baked beans here, there we go, mmm. Andy's actually used the sausages there as a break water from the eggs, which is good, uh, already done. Black pudding, we're going for that. I'm actually partial. I didn't like black pudding when I started reviewing these breakfasts. When I have to say, a bit of a, mm, a bit of a fan of it now. Eggs, not snotty at all. Very good. They are spot on. Nice taste. Very nice. Right, I'll eat the rest of this uh, because it's my first breakfast. First full English of 2023, and it's very good. I love you now. Mm. See you guys in a minute.
Right, well, I've got to tell you, <laughs> I mean, obviously, as you can see by my plate, I really enjoyed that. Uh, I'm going to finish my coffee, then I'll meet you guys outside. But it's lovely, it even says on the board up there, um, it's a, um, a family, uh, independent family run business, which is what we like. Cheers, see you outside. Good coffee as well. Right, okay, so let's get down to business. I tell you what, it's good to be back. Boy, have I missed you. Um, so uh, the bill came to 14.45. That was with a mega breakfast at 11.95 uh with white toast uh, and also a coffee as well at two pound fifty um i know you're going to say not the cheapest breakfast you can get cheaper breakfasts um it wasn't a greasy spoon it was a nice cafe and it gets very good write-ups and again it's a family-owned business and uh, local family-owned business and i think we should be supporting these places it isn't overly expensive for a breakfast that really in nottingham city center as well uh, and in a very nice part of nottingham city center actually it's in the lace market area um very very nice area of Nottingham um, very quiet today I've got to say uh, and the kids are back at school as well so uh, I like it it's back to normal isn't it back to normal which is what you like um, for me I enjoyed it the bacon was nice the sausages even though a, a standard catering sausage by the look of it um, with the end of it that looks a little bit well you know what it looks like um, I'll leave that to your imagination um, but I thoroughly enjoyed it and it did the sausages were nice they had a nice taste to them it had like a spice in them or a herb in them or something uh, although albeit a, a catering sausage um, the beans were beans were tasty you could tell again some people don't believe me on this and get I can tell when they're done in a pan or in a microwave and they're done in a pan uh, because of the consistency and some people have gone oh cod's well you know you can't you can it, it thickens it up in a pan um, toast maybe could have done with a little bit more down a little bit and maybe the eggs a little bit whiter on top but the, the eggs were nice um, all in all I thoroughly enjoyed it very friendly staff in there very friendly staff um, a lot of locals in there by the look of it as well um, and regulars that go in there uh, I'm gonna give that you know, I, I like that. I'd go there. If I lived around this area as well, or if I was in town, and I wanted something a little bit more upmarket, I'd go there, so I'm going to go there. I think it's a fair score that I'm going to give it. I'm going to go with a 9 point... A 9.5. How's that? There you go, 9.5. I think that's a damn good score. Um, so... What, do you, what would you score it? Comments down below uh, on looks, on price, on location. Take them all into account. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's so good to be back. Um, I, I really have missed you. Um, and if you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. We've got Benny Dorm coming up as well in a, in a little while. Uh, I'm going to get the flight over there. I'm going to get all the different places. I'm really going to hit it hard and work harder than I did last year for you guys. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you all. Don't forget as well, if you did enjoy the video, it doesn't cost you a penny. Just hit that thumbs up that's down there. Click it so they've got the thumbs up. It costs you nothing and it just tells YouTube that it's a good video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy New Year. And that's the last time I'm saying it. Do you know what? I could actually say, if you've not turned off already, that was the best full English breakfast of 2023 because <laughs> it's the only one I've had so far hey there's a title <laughs>